It's Borderlands 2, and as Borderlands 2 always does, it looks beautiful. But look at this. Three, two, one. What happened there? Borderlands suddenly looked even more awesome because I'm using a post-process um, graphics tool known as SweetFX and that has improved the sharpness of my picture, the vibrancy of the colours, it's brought out um, the, the anti-aliasing to a whole new level. In short, it has made an awesome Borderlands even more awesome and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can do the same. So let's get learning. So how do we install SweetFX Shader Suite? Well I've got a few links for you which you can see in the descriptions. Uh, this is CJ's um, thread um, which you can find on Guru3D where he gives you some download links and gives you some basic information about it. Um, and oh Well, more than basic information if you scroll down there's quite a lot and some lovely uh, Borderlands screenshots which you may well recognise. Um, there's also a link to the uh, Skyrim Nexus where the, the author has also uploaded um, the file to give you some information and what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on the the drop canvas link here which brings us to this file here now there's various files here and, and settings but the one we make we're interested in is the one that simply says um, sweet FX and then gives you the version number and as of the 24th of October we're looking at version 1.3 now it is a 7z file not a zip file so you will need um, a, a program which can open that and I'm using WinRAR uh, which does it quite happily um, you can save it or open it, whichever you prefer, but for the, for the purposes of this video I'm just going to open it up so we can get straight in there. Um, and all of the, you're going to need to put all of these files into every game that you want to use it for. So this isn't one. This isn't like a program you want you install, and then uh, you know it works every time. You need to to do some movement if you, for any program you want to use this for. So whether it's whether it's Borderlands, whether it's um, Call of Duty, whether whatever it is, whatever program you want to use this for, you need to copy the files in. So if I load up my Borderlands folder. Uh, which for me is my D drive, Steam drive, Steam apps, common, and then I've got all the games I've got installed here, Borderlands 2, and then the exe file is actually in binaries Win32, and down here you can see um, here's the Borderlands 2 exe. So this is um, this is the the, 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 the the folder that I need to put it in, and then you, you just need to grab everything that we've got here, and I've done that with um, a shift click there to, to select the whole lot. You need to get the whole lot, and you need to copy it in. Now mine's going to ask me if I want to overwrite, because I've got the, the, uh, the, the previous version in here, so this is the first time installing 1.3, but for you it'll just say, you know, it'll just, it'll just copy in quite happily. Um, so I'm going to move and replace, and I'm going to say yes to copying uh, copying in all these and in comes all the files and you can see here they're the ones that are highlighted now it's probably worth you keeping a note of the files that you're copying in um, or just keeping the zip files so you can see them because th the only way to uninstall this is to actually go through and uh, delete those files. Um, now, the, the, when it installs, it shouldn't actually overwrite any Borderlands files. I mean, I know I did some overwriting, but that was just because I had a previous version here. But these should all be files that aren't part of the game already. Now, the important one for us is this one that says Sweet FX Settings. So if I bring that one up. Now, you're going to have to do a bit of uh, editing on this file to choose the features that you want. And it's all done with the numbers here. Basically, if you put a number 1, that means the feature is on. And if you put a 0, it means that the feature is off. So the default file has uh, SMAA anti-aliasing on, because there's a 1. Luma sharpen on, because there's a 1. All of this lot is off, because there's zeros, and then we've got vibrance on as well. So we can just boot this up and, and see how it looks. But I want to actually kind of show us these uh, effects one by one, so we can see what they're doing, and you can kind of really see the effects of each one, and see how good this tool actually is. So I'm going to set all of them to zero, and then I'm going to save that file, and then that, that's what you need to do every time you you do this. Now the nice thing, uh, the, uh, the, the, the nice feature that we've got here is it's not just a case of turning these things on or off, we can actually tweak. And if you scroll down the file, you'll, you'll see that everything we've got at the top, so for example anti-aliasing, we've then got an anti-aliasing section, where if I want to go more advanced, 
I can tweak further. Then I've got sharpening here. And then if I scroll down, I've got the sharpening section and I can tweak further. Um, so this really is incredibly customizable. You can just use the defaults if you want to, you know, just turn it on, turn it off. But if you really want to get into how this game looks and get it, get it so you get it the way you want it to be, then you can customize this. Now there are presets um, available. Um, if you look in the the uh, the sweet FX folder there is a folder for presets and as you can see some lovely people has put in a torchlight one and a mountain blade one and black mesa um, in there and or black mesa sorry and you know you can share this with friends so if you've got other friends on the PC um, ask them to share their fi their files with you and of course you can share your files with them but it, there is going to be a bit of experimentation here and and probably just personal choice um, for example the the person uh, Jim Jim who made all those wonderful uh, screenshots. Um, if I scroll down here, he made all these wonderful screenshots. He tends to use the Technicolor setting according to his for his post. Um, I'm not particularly keen on that. I mean, that doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means you know it, it's it's personal preference. Um, so we're really going to have a little fiddle and see what we like with um, these settings. So we're going to go into the game. Um, which we're going to run exactly as we normally would, except we probably want to turn off um, a few of the settings. So let's run the game and see what we need to tweak. Now in the uh, launcher, uh, you can choose any settings you want. It won't um, affect the uh, the Suite FX settings, but the one tweak I am going to make here is I'm going to turn FX AA off um, because this is an effect that smooths the jagged edges, which is of course what we are going to be doing with Suite FX anyway. So we don't need that one. Um, so by default, it's normally on. I'm going to turn it off, and everything else I'm going to leave at my defaults. And I suggest you do the same. Um, I'm running mine in full screen windowed just to make it easier for me to tweak in the file. Um, but you you will normally probably run at full screen. Um, but that is entirely up to you. So let's hit apply and head into the game okay and we're here in Oasis and I'm gonna be showing you how to use this sweet FX file whilst you are in the game to tweak the game exactly as you want it really because this is an incredibly customizable tool now um, over in my uh, dual monitor window I've got the sweet FX settings uh, notepad document uh, open and what I'm going to be doing here is alt tabbing out of the game um, adjusting it and then alt tabbing back in and uh, there are two keys on your keyboard that will help you here and um, the first one is the pause key which will reload the sweet FX settings and the second one is the uh, scroll lock key uh, which will turn all of the settings on and off and if I just press the scroll lock key here you can see me tweaking it on and off there. Um, so you won't be able to see me editing the notepad file but I'll tell you what I'm doing and, and the effects that it's having. Now the first thing I'd like to talk about is the, the anti-aliasing because SweetFX comes with a version of this called SMAA anti-aliasing which is a very powerful anti-aliasing tool and um, it, uh, its impact on your frame rate is far lower than the one in game because if I go to the options and video actually in game there is a version of um, anti-aliasing here which is the FXAA. Now I can turn that on and it's good um, but it's going to give me a, a frame rate impact and in my opinion I think the one that comes with SweetFX is better and gives less of a frame rate hit. So what does it actually do? Um, if you know exactly what this does then feel free to skip this part of the video with the buttons at the top but if you don't um, have a look at the edge of that uh, what, what, is it, what am I staying next to? A pillar here. Can you see how jagged that line is? It really is very a very very kind of square 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 as it goes across and um, the same when we look at the edges of shades hat here you know it is a jagged line as opposed to a smooth line and it's what happens when you get a, a straight line on the on the on the game and it, it kind of gets turned at a slight angle the graphics card can't quite handle it or process it um, in a smooth way now what this tweak does is if I turn the the S sweet effects on it smooths those lines out. Can you see the difference there? If you just look at Shades Hat, that's it, that's on, that's off, that's on, that's off. I mean, that's a huge difference, isn't it? And the same with the the edges of the uh, of, of the pillar here. That's off, 
and that's on. It makes the game so much smoother on the edges of, of objects. And of course in a game like Borderlands where normally you have that thick blau black outline, um, it's almost essential really to have um, some sort of um, anti-aliasing going to smooth these out. And um, SweetFX does it brilliantly. Now you can tweak everything that you've got in, in, in this file. So if I wanted to um, make it um, smooth things more, I can do. If I wanted to smooth the, uh, the edges of corners, I can do that as well, um, and I can do all of that in game, and I'll show you that with a, with another um, tool in in a second. Now, the second uh, piece of uh, the second feature I'd like to bring, draw to your attention is the sharpening, which is the which ba basically makes things clearer. Um, let's let's find if I just turn it. Um, there, there's off. Just have a look at these planks here, and this isn't to do with the the the, the edges. I'm not talking here about the. Um, you know how smooth the edges are, but just the actual grain of the wood itself is quite blurry. Then turn the sweet effects back on, and it, it really does snap into focus. I mean, it's not a 100% clear, but it's a heck of a lot clearer than it was. There's off, and there's on, there's off, there's on. It really becomes clearer, and the grain of the wood especially starts to come out. Now, I mean, obviously, if you, once you get too close to a texture, you will start to see the problems anyway, um, but it really does make a difference. If we look carefully at the face here and, and all the kind of details on, the, on his clothes, there's off. He's not blurry, but there is blur, blurriness to the clothing, and there's on. There's off, and there's on. And I can tweak this, so I'm going to Alt-Tab out um, to the... Um, sorry, to the, the, the document, and I'm going to scroll down to where it says Luma Sharpening, and it says Define Sharp Strength, and I can go from 0 0.1 to 3. So let, let's just chunk it up to the maximum to show you what we can actually do here. I'm going to hit Save on the file, I'm going to come back into the game, I'm going to press Pause, which is going to reload the file, um, the game's probably going to hang slightly, and, and now it's even clearer. Now you can be too clear, you don't want things to be too sharp, um, but you can do it. Now, now what's the difference now? If I, that's off, that's on that's off, that's on, and it even works with the details in the background, when you're kind of looking at the door and the wall over here, you know, that's off, that's on. And so I wouldn't recommend you have it quite as high as this, because this, this is almost making everything kind of pop to the foreground, because you do want to have some sort of things that are in the foreground and so much in the background, but just, there's off, there's on. I mean, the brickwork in the background is really kind of coming forward a lot stronger. Um, I'm going to Alt-Tab out again. I'm going to turn that down a little bit um, to about 1 point, let's say 1.2. But you can tweak. You can put it to whatever you want. Um, now I want to talk to you about the vibrance. Now this is going to give us more power um, to the colour. Now I've got this, got it on already, but let, let's just take it to the extreme. Because um, for some reason, whenever people get the option of vibrance, they decide they want to make their world look like some sort of uni unicorn fantasy thing. So if I just uh, stick it, take the vibrance up to the maximum, watch what happens to the colour when I reload this. Look at that! The blues, the light blues become solid blues, the slight greens become heavy greens. Look look at the cat over there that was a slight red, is now a full-on magenta pink. And let me just turn it all off. There's off. And there's on. I'll do it again looking this way so you can see it on the green effects that we can see, especially the, the neon green in the background perhaps. There's off. And there's on. I mean, that, that is far too much. But if you like it, of course, you can tweak it like this. You can make the world look this kind of cartoony idea. But it brings all the colours forward, makes them all as strong or as weak as you like. Because I could go the other way. Um, if I, It's on its maximum at the moment, but let's take it to its minimum by putting a minus in front of it. Um, save the, the file and reload it. And look, now I've got a lovely little black and white world, almost sepia, um, to enjoy, kind of with, with a bit of magenta pink to play with as well. But you can, you can really decide what mood you're looking for in the game that you're playing. And if it's a nice depressed game like Dishonored, strip the colours out, maybe. If it's a game like Borderlands, take it up to the maximum. Or, as probably is most recommended by me, just giving the colours just a little bit of extra oomph in them. So I'm going to alt-tab out to the file again, and I'm, I'm going to put it on to about... Um, 0.2. Okay, so it's just literally just giving the the colours a little push, no more. So if I come back into the file, reload it, um, and then turn it off. Okay, and there's on, there's off. So it's just pulling out the colours just a little bit more. Very very subtle, but I like it. Subtle, but I like it.
Now, um, there's loads of features in the file, and I'm not going to go through the whole lot because you'll get bored, and I want you to be able to play with them yourself. But there's there's, there's Technicolor, HDR, Bloom, Tone Maps, uh, Curves, etc., etc. You really can um, just tweak and tweak and tweak until you are happy with what you get, or just depending on your mood on the particular day. But the beautiful thing is, is that none of the settings I have fiddled with have really impacted my my frames per second at all. The only there's only two that have a, a bigger impact, which is the Bloom and the HDR which is like when you get a swell on the lights um, there's not any particularly bright lights around but it kind of makes them it makes the bright lights kind of look even brighter so I hope I've sold you on sweet FX um, I hope that you you try it out and, and thank CJ for his hard work on it um, I can share my file uh, with you guys or my, my particular tweaks if you'd like to see them um, but uh, most of my tweaks are based on what, on what Jim Point had done in his um, original um, forum thread so do go check out his pictures and ask him if you want any kind of advice on these. Um, if you've enjoyed the video please give it a like or a subscription if you'd like to see what we've got coming up next on the Adipose TV uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care